We'll begin in the nation's capital, Abuja, where the immediate past chief of defense staff, General Lucky Rabo, has formally retired from service following a pulling out ceremony at the Mogadishu cantonment. In his valedictory speech, the retired general said, providing security for a diverse country like Nigeria is not an easy task. He said the country owes a debt of gratitude to men and women who serve in the armed forces. General Lirabo expressed satisfaction with the service in the military, saying he is leaving the armed forces bigger and stronger than he met it. The former defense chief also appealed to residents not to engage in acts capable of undermining the Nigerian military, noting that the armed forces are a beacon of hope, unity and stability that must be protected. General Lirabo was appointed as a chief of defense staff by former president Muhammadu Buhari in 2021, replacing General Abayomi Olonishakin. National security for a large and diverse country like Nigeria is not an easy task, but it is also not an impossible one. In early 2021, the security situation of the nation was admittedly in a state of dynamic plus. Efforts made by the federal government of Nigeria using the armed forces of Nigeria in collaboration with the Nigerian police force, other security agencies and critical stakeholders were in different stages of gestation. No doubt, the debt we owe to the men and women who have served in the armed forces is one that we will never be able to repay adequately. They sacrifice so much of themselves to defend our nation and need ideals, and they ask for so little in return. Like every other citizen, I wish Mr. President and all who will labor with him, Godspeed.